Welcome to Pay to Play Impressions for Wizard of Legend. This is a game of, uh, that's available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Switch, and PC. It's a roguelite game that uh, has a top down view and dungeon crawling mechanic in it. So, let me show you quickly the options here. There's not much here in terms of options. So, that's why the game really runs really well in high frame rates. So, I think really to configure that there's much here. Alright, so let's get out of here and let me show you as actual game itself. So here we are. So what's the game about? Well, you are a wizard that's trying to complete what's called the legendary wizard trials and along those lines and you're basically running through that kind of dungeon. As I said, it's a dungeon crawler type of game. You're trying to get to the end of the dungeon. So here's your this is your home base. Here are a few things available, such as you can get you can look at your spells and select which spells you want to use. There's also ability here's a chest with all the different items you have that you can equip. And there's a, also a wardrobe with your clothes that you can well you can change your cloak basically, and which also has special abilities to it. Finally, there's this uh, camera that will let you save different loadouts of your character. So you can use that. All right, so. This is pretty much that way. As you can see, graphics-wise and again, frame rate-wise, it's pretty uh, doing pretty well. There's not much of a st stretch on the hardware, be given that it's a pixelated graphics that we're dealing with here. Uh, when it comes to overall, the look of surroundings and everything, it's pretty clear. It doesn't uh, where you are, how you where you walking around. And when going to be in dungeons, it's going to be also pretty clear whose enemies are, how, where they're appearing, and so on. So it's not that you know, um, difficult to see things. Even though it's pixelated, it's uh, it's uh, it's pretty well done. So here we are, and that's in the next section of the game. Here you can buy things, uh, buy items, buy spells, new ones. As, as you buy each new one, uh, each spell, the new ones will will replace it. Uh, that you can buy, you can buy the new robes that will give you different characteristics. And finally, here are a few people that if you talk to them, they'll offer you to change up your dungeon experience in one way or another again to make it more difficult or spice things up. All right, so here we are. So let's go in and we are going to go into the dungeon and I'm going to show it to you. So here you see there's a bunch of levels that you need to complete. There's going to be boss battles at the, at the end of each level that you complete and so on. So here we are and I'm just really going to run around an explorer you can break things here's you know different using different spells and here well, let's now we'll start off uh, dealing with enemies now i have different spells i can use against the enemies right there and i can combine a whole bunch of them and uh, like i said you can buy whatever spells you like and combine them with the way you want them because you feel that such and such spell is better off just different ones so because you expect to face different enemies and so on. There's some. Sometimes you can pick up health. Usually there's not much there for to pick up health. Ooh. And we're not gonna last here long, I think. Uh, this one because uh, these enemies are very difficult. No. Uh, no. Almost, almost. There we go. No, there's more now. All right. Get some health. So this is pretty much the whole game, the, the whole section of it, and we can also get, get over the different uh, obstacles uh, as long as we are careful about that. Overall, what I would like to point out that I really liked about the game was the way it did the tutorial. So the tutorial is done by you know, when when your player is actually visiting. The, a museum that talks about wizards and so as a result there you learn all the different mechanics how things work and so on that's actually a pretty interesting uh, way to introduce uh, everything and then he, the kind of the game will actually drop you into this uh, world itself right so like I said a very interesting way to do so and uh, I think we're gonna have a problem here I have my main is well, the biggest uh, spell I have is electrical, and it's not gonna work against this guy, so they're gonna kill me off right now. No, I actually survived. That's actually very rare. Usually, I, I do not survive. So, 
not to keep this any longer than it has to be because uh, let's just walk off the edge. No, I couldn't do that either. I was going to walk off the cliff and just kill myself off. Oh, well, I guess this guy might do it for me. There you go, they did. All right, so, and that's it. So there you go, and you're going to go back to your home base and rinse and repeat again. So why is there, am I doing that to pay the play impressions well? Because... This is not really a genre I like. I don't really like roguelite, and specifically, there's nothing here to attract me enough, right? There's no story in such besides, you know, the beginning introduction that gives you something. And then you just end up uh, crawling through the dungeon over and over again. There's now other elements besides the dungeon crawling either to interest me. Now, people who like roguelite genre will say that this is exactly what they wanted. There's nothing more is needed. Right? And so if you like that, that kind of genre, I think you will like this game. But from my perspective, it's not enough here to really interest me and running through the same dungeons uh, well even though they're randomized but you're still running through the dungeon though and uh, especially in the very beginning you're dying a lot because you're trying to uh, gain currency to buy new items so from that perspective i i don't like it uh, that the game that much but it's still a good game oh and if you like i said you like road light genre you will like this that's also a cool game because you know different spells that you have especially like a, one of the first spells you get is this one right it's a you fire dragons and fire briefing dragons well the fire dragons basically that's pretty cool right so it's a cool good game well that's all i have to say about this one and thank you for watching and for listening if you like this video please like it if you didn't like it don't like it and please follow and subscribe